You went to Florida all four? Yeah. yeah all I, four. Yeah, I fucked around the state. I should have left my junior year. Uh-huh. Listened to my mom, you know, want me to go get a degree and shit. And so I stayed for my last year. But damn, as soon as I made that decision, my damn college coach, God bless him, he went crazy on my dumb ass. I should have left. That motherfucker, like a, he, went, he was like the devil. Really? The motherfucker like, treated me like a king the first three years. And then as soon as I said that I was going to stay my, my uh, junior year, and, and you, can, you can't say that, okay, now, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I said I was going to stay. But then I was like, damn, this motherfucker, when I said I was going to stay, and then they, 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 they put it where you say, okay, this motherfucker done said he's going to go. He's going to stay. But now I really want to go. Mm-hmm. And then... My mom told me, nah, stay and get your degree. So I ain't no stay, man. This white man treated me like shit, man. Really? Oh, my goodness, man. It was like night and day, man. I got down. That man told me. And my mom, man, if it's up to me, man, you ain't going to make it, motherfucker. Because I'm finna let these motherfuckers know about this cocaine and all this motherfucking marijuana you be doing around this motherfucker. I'm going to let them know. I was at the combine up in Orlando. And um, about four weeks, we was, was up in combine. They was working us out. And they had the top players and, and you know, first round picks and shit. So I was supposed to go top 10. Mm-hmm. Shit, I went motherfucker 48 out of 50. Because that motherfucker, t- yeah, he told the motherfucker, he told, he, he told the league and USA Today. See, like I told, I told the story before, but like, I, like in the back in the day, you know, we ain't have phones and shit like mm-hmm. that. We used to get up and read the paper. You go yep. outside, uh, open your, um, your uh, room door at the hotel, and you pick up the USA Today. Yep. And you read the fucking USA Today. So that's what I did. I went and picked up the USA Today. I was flipping through that motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What do you, what do you mean for? I'm looking at me. Motherfucker talking about Vernon Maxwell get caught with uh, marijuana, cocaine, and this shit like three weeks, month before the draft. And I'm like, shit, I can't repair this. Nah, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Ain't no way I can repair this shit. You know, I can't. Can't get to everybody and talk to everybody. All the teams I had to talk to about drafting me, I can't, I can't straighten this shit out because yeah, yeah, it's my yeah. word against this motherfucker. Right. So, and it's true, mm-hmm. I did everything the motherfucker said. <laughs> <laughs> but that I was did his place everything to go out there thing they said I was gonna do. But I just thought it was just bad shit, man. When the man <laughs> just did me like that, and I, I poured my heart out to that school, all time leading scorer at the school still today. You know, Thank I mean, twenty eight sixty. You know, I scored 2,860 points. You know, almost 3,000 points in this month. For, that's what they get from me. But it's okay, man. I end up still making it. Oh, so. yeah, you, yeah. You did all right. Yeah, no you, doubt. You, yeah, you, you yeah, no bit, doubt. yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. It's crazy. How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> yeah, that is wild. That is, I just tell everybody who played when Vern was in college. <laughs> He was busting y'all ass on cocaine. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, Brian was what? on cocaine and marijuana and alcohol. Before games? No, no. After the game. But I right. snort all the way up into the, the like the day before, day before the game. I'm going to get my head right. I'm going to have my nose on that table. I'm going to be blowing it up. The NBA season is back and in full swing, and I couldn't be more excited. And you know what's made it better? DraftKings, the official partner of Rain Race. DraftKings is blessing y'all. New customers who bet as little as $5 get $200 in bonus bets instantly. All you gotta do is go use our promo code RACE. So go download the app, and it's not just for the NBA season. The NFL is still here, and DraftKings is an official partner of the NFL. Whether you're betting on touchdowns or buckets, or if sports betting isn't available in your state, DraftKings still got you with Daily Fantasy. So make sure you go over to DraftKings right now, Download the app, use our promo code RACE, DraftKings. The crown is yours.